is the ridiculous tag team flick and throw from Kansas City's Omar Infante and Alcides Escobar. Down 2-1 in the bottom of the ninth, Cleveland's Roberto Perez sends a chopper bouncing up the middle, cranking it up to more than 17 miles an hour to track it down. Infante, using only his glove, fields the ball, and then flips it in just two-tenths of a second. That's less time than it takes him to complete his stride. This sends the ball floating in the air for more than half a second, giving Escobar enough time to react to the toss and make a barehanded grab. Then, to refocus his attention toward first, Escobar turns his head two-tenths of a second before the rest of his body. This allows him to utilize an aiming technique hardwired in his brain known as the quiet eye. This is a visual fixation on a target or a maintained gaze that lasts at least 100 milliseconds before an action is performed. Studies have shown when allotted a quiet eye period, accuracy for a task can improve by more than 20%. So with his target locked, Escobar rotates his arm at roughly 2,400 degrees per second. This launches the ball at more than 96 miles per hour. About four miles per hour faster than this season's average velocity on fastballs. The combination of Infante's quick flip and Escobar's cannon allows the throw to beat Perez by a third of a second, more time than the ball even spent in Infante's glove. It allows these blows to lock up our play of the week. Now, while their play was undoubtedly amazing, Infante and Escobar did get a little help from the batter. Running the first, Perez averaged just 12.6 miles per hour, which means he could have beaten the throw if he increased his pace by just 9% to 13.7 miles per hour, which, according to the results compiled by the 2015 Outdoor Track and Field Youth Club, is about the same top speed of a pretty fast first grade. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brooks.